taught me more so how to read. It starts at home. You can't depend on a teacher to teach your kid everything. Well, there's lots of mommies out there that are working with the kids. My mother and father had me reading uh, any kind of book, the Bible. Uh, even we, even went to church, they made us stand up and read. You have to spend time with your children. The, the, the learning process starts at home. I could tell you the future of the kid when it gets on the bus with the mother. Mm -hmm. I could see the behavior and the relationship. Right. The one that pulls on a kid's arm, you know, and whacks him to sit down and all of that. They're not going any place. And I know well, you talk about it's, it's out of frustration because, like I say, in my community, well, it's, it's, it's no family structure a lot of times. Right. You don't have both parents in the home. You've got to have some type of family structure, and we're getting out of that. Well, it, then they better it, not have children. Okay, when I, when I was coming up, it was almost shameful for a girl to come to church with a baby and not married to no man. Now, it's fashionable to have a whole bunch of kids and no man to keep having babies and nobody married. Uh, it's no family structure. And it's, it's okay. Well, maybe we shouldn't you know, say no family structure. There are some... Family what, I'm, what, I'm getting, okay. what, what I'm getting at, for the most part, is no family structure. What about the Huxtables? You, you, that, that's make-believe uh, black families. That really, I'm not saying good black families don't exist. Good fa black families does exist. But I'm saying is in a lot of these families, we have broken homes. We're talking nobody about the getting, ones that no, don't. Nobody getting married. Nobody having t no type of structure. You need the father and the mother at home. The, the mother... It's the one that laid that nurturing hand down, and the father the one that laid that heavy hand down. You need both your parents. People say, well, I raised a child uh, without a dad, and nine times out of ten, when he get mad, he act like a little girl. Uh -huh. So I'm saying is you need both of your parents to measure things out. Okay. okay. A woman cannot handle a, a boy by the time he get 14, 15 years old. He needs a father, just like he needs his mother, because if he... Just needed one parents, God would have made it where he could just a man could just have a baby, or a woman just had a baby. God ain't make it like that. He made he, he made a man and a woman so you could have some type of structure. You got to have structure. We don't believe in structure no more. See, we getting out of that. A lot of the women don't even cook no more. Is that the God that lives in the clouds in Utah? That's the that's Well, the, I don't know about how, the, how, how'd God make that man and woman well, or well, something? Well, he probably got a chemistry set. Well when know, I well when I talk about God yeah. I'm talking about myself. When you look, I told people, tell people all the time, you don't have to look in the sky to find no God. Look in the right. mirror, you can find God. But a lot of people think that I'm talking crazy when I talk like that. Yeah. If you look in the mirror, you find God. Well, this is the Leslie Davis show. This is the crazy show. Right. Yeah. So, so that's what we come on here and talk about crazy stuff, like jobs for young people, like decent housing, like good food, right. like a good education, like good behaving kids. And things like that. And, Stupid and, and you stuff. Gotta, you got to like train that. these kids early. You got to train them up early. Well, well, right from the womb. You got to train them early. And another thing. Uh, I knew a girl one time. She was pregnant. And she said, I want to watch a scary movie. I said, don't do that. She said, why? I said, because that kid taking in on what you taking in. If you watch foolishness, you feeding your kid while you pregnant. You feed the, while that kid is in the, inside the mother's womb, you are feeding him sickness. I said, get a good book, you know, while you pregnant and read and feed the kid something positive. That's okay. pretty good. That's pretty you good. You got advice. to feed that kid something positive while he's in your stomach, and then you wonder why the kids come out all crazy because you are smoking all these funny cigarettes, you are looking at all these crazy programs, and then you wonder why you got a kid that that you got a, you done brought a demon into the world. Okay, well. Wow. Your kid feel everything you feel. Anything you smoke and take in, that kid taking it. Anything that you feed your brain's stupidity, that kid taking it in while you're pregnant. We I, got to learn how to feed our kids positive things before they even get here. I had a plan to pay young girls uh, in my candidacy for governor not to get pregnant. I'd give them each $500 on their 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, and 18th birthday. If they didn't get pregnant, we'll have an abortion. Right. So they'd pay attention then to what they're doing because they could lose. And on their birthday, every young girl gets 500 bucks in the state of Minnesota. Not just the black kids or the white kids, every young girl. But their responsibility should just fall on that girl either. Their responsibility should fall on that, that boy too. We got to make our young men uh, be more responsible. A lot of uh, uh, women, we baby the boys too long and 
you got him and he's soft as a, like a little girl and so he don't even know how to to be a man. I can't count on him at all. I wouldn't even you try know? to approach him on that subject because... But uh, we got to make our young men be accounted for. The I mean, make them be accountable. The hormones are racing. I understand it, but if, you, if you're doing men things, then you have, to, you have to be a man. Whack them. And if the girls don't take care of that, the guy's not going to, he's just going to go for what he can get. So that's Leslie Davis and Kevin Burns were telling you how it is. How it is, and what we're going to do about it, and uh, that's up to you. We're already working on it. We're working on the lubricator. We're working on uh, the T-shirts and the Eagle designs, and uh, stopping the drug war, and getting some justice, and getting the money plan uh, into place, and promoting the Earth Protect the logo, uh, and getting wheat and fructose out of the school soda. There's an article about soda, what it's doing to you and your kids, and uh, I see. Mothers on the bus, I said, get a lot of my education on the bus. Take out a bottle, and they're giving them soda or Hawaiian punch in the bottle that they're feeding the kid. Take time and, and, and cook. A, lot of, a lot of the young women are just lazy nowadays. Uh, McDonald's and Burger King and, and Kentucky Fried Chicken and all these other places make a lot of money because a lot of the girls not interested in cooking. Just getting their nails done and throw the baby a Happy Meal and, and, and let them go on. And then you wonder why the baby's so crazy because you haven't took time to prepare a meal and, uh, get, and take time to be a nurturing, loving mother. And then you wonder why you got a hateful uh, child. There you got it. Right between the eyes from Kevin Burns. Kelvin Burns. How come Kevin? Ke Ke that's kind of everybody will call me uh, Kel, Ke but it's, Kevin, but Kevin. It's uh, called it's K E L V I. -E Kelvin Burns, and there's your phone number up there for Kelvin Burns. So and also give us a uh, all you, look us all up you, on huh? all you happy meal mommies can call Kelvin and give him an argument. And look us up on YouTube on the, uh, mm -hmm. under Kelvin Burns, K E L V I N B U I N S. Or the Melanix. Look us up on well, YouTube. We don't want all Melanix stuff. We don't want all that mumbo jumbo. We don't want those spooky stuff. Uh, right, but on look show. us up on YouTube. We're going to be on the spooky stuff or something? No, no spooky no. stuff. This no, is reality. We don't reality. Do religion because Leslie uh, uh, Calvin, he's still over there a little bit, you know, and that's okay. He'll come around because he, he wants to be good. He wants to be the best. He wants to be a leader and give you direction, and he's trying to do that. And he came down here and they picked me up and he and his friend and we're doing some stuff working together so that you'll call us and we can work together and get your job, get you some money. Maybe somebody needs uh, their rent paid. We'll take them over to the United Jewish Funding Council and I bet you they give them money just as fast as the Catholics. They do, but they don't think of going in over. The Catholics, they promote that. Come touch it because that's what they got to sell, you know. The Jews, they think they got something. They're the chosen people. But then you got the jihadists, they think they're the chosen people. And they got the Muslim, they think they're chosen. No, they're all full of crap. What we want to do is just be good, kind, gentle, hardworking. Hardworking you know, people. Yeah. But leave that G-O-D stuff out of it when you call us. Don't say God anything, you know, because you don't know. The first thing about it, you don't know about God, whether there is a God or God exists or God's going to pick you up and take you into his arms and uh, you're not, nah, nah, none of that All stuff. into his bosom. I, I, you know, we, we grew up around that too. Yeah, hocus pocus, you know. It's hard to get it out of your system because you become part of the group, you know. Oh, they have Sunday come to meeting and then you have lunches and brunches and this and you're going to have a feast and the people get together. The church is a big business just like the prison industry is a big well, business. It's the center of people's lives. Some it, people will say, if I didn't have the church, and if I didn't have my faith and all of that, I'd have nothing. I said, no, you wouldn't have nothing. What churches and all organizations are used to control people. What you would have is a relationship with the creator of everything that goes way beyond anything like you're experiencing in any kind of a church or movement. The creator of everything. Look beyond, you know, what's big. What, don't, don't accept those books and those writings and so on because uh, it's really not taking you. Go beyond the, those books. Way beyond. Way Go beyond. beyond those books. It's a think big life on that. You. Think beyond uh, what you think to be uh, uh, the almighty or whatever. I don't have a closed mind right. when somebody show you something different. Right. So that's what we're here to show you and what we're talk about. You don't have to accept what I'm saying, but don't have, don't close me out right. because I'm not saying the same thing your preacher's saying, oh, Lord, you know, and, and kind of spit I, out his throat, you know. I put yeah. out those Happy Meals. Yeah, for the Happy kids. Meals, yeah. We don't want our Happy Meals. You're the lazy mommies out there. No more Happy Meals and no Feed Hawaiian you. punch Feed the in the kid's bottle.
Feed the children. Free the people, free the weed, scratch the earth and plant the seed. Jobs and money and a future and honesty and justice for all, not for some. Justice for, for all. all. Justice for all. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Thank you, Kelvin Burns, my buddy. Thanks a lot. <laughs>